Good morning. Today we're going to check out a few points of interest around the grove. The first thing we're going to look at are the uh, carry seedlings that we planted a little bit ago. It was supposed to rain for days, like 10 days straight. So we planted these and it didn't rain. I watered them a few times with a bucket, but a lot of them got sunburned right away. The Stem down here is, is green still. This one, of course, is, is gone it's on its way out. This one is a new start, so that was uh, hadn't sprouted yet. So uh, actually looks like that's coming from the same seed as this. So that would indicate that it was polyembryonic. So that's sort of odd. Uh, so yeah, all the ones that had well, here we have one that had leaves trimmed back um, a, so at least some of the leaves to reduce the stress of transplant. Uh, so that one might make it. And this one has a little green leaf and green stem. That might make it. Uh, got one over here that's suffering. Looks like that's brown stem. So. Uh, we've got a, a fresh sprout here, so uh, yeah, sort of a mixed bag. We'll come back and visit this in a few weeks and see how it's doing then. But basically the ones that had some nice uh, growth on them when they went in, it was too harsh of an environment. Had we gotten, um, had we put them into a shade house, into, you know, into pots in a shade house, they would have made it. But, you know, it's an experiment, and we, it certainly looks like we have some of them that will survive, and so we'll just see how that little project goes. Certainly we'll have some uh, uh, alternatives for that, you know, we can either uh, grow out some of those seedlings to see how the fruit is, and uh, we can also top rock work those trees. A little bit. So, head over to our next project. So, some trees that we've recently cut back even more, so be grafting onto certain parts of those. These are all Hayden, Hayden trees. Um, so this is where the big branch came down. Um, guess it's a good thing for this little seedling tree that I've grafted onto. You can see right here is it's graft here and then down here and here. This one is a new shoot from the seedling tree so uh, as soon as I get appropriate graft wood for that I will um, put a, another graft on there. Uh, this uh, particular variety is an interesting one. The tree stays small and uh, it's a seedling tree and possibly from a cog's hall uh, and the the um, fruit are uh, very unusually shaped very tasty so 
Anyway, I wanted to put that on another tree in the grove, and so this will have a, a better chance of thriving here. And this, this first um, cut here on the top of the tree we made in the beginning of the summer, and the, the big, uh, big wood takes a long time to sprout out. So we're still waiting for the first signs of life from that. So I'm hoping that it starts sprouting out soon, but this is a very old limb and so it's got a, a lot of bark to go through in order to, to get the uh, new growth. In the meantime though, we found one appropriate shoot to graft onto over here. So that comes down to this part of the stump. So that should grow pretty quickly once it gets going. It's another seedling tree from this Hayden. Grafted on over here. Looks like that graft is, is doing well. It's nice and green down at the bottom here. And so, yep, looking good. And this one, uh, this whole, whole area is Ugly Betty. Uh, we've got one graft that's taking right up there, new leaves. And there's leaves that are older on the graft that has taken. So we've got two there. The initial graft didn't take on this one. So we have a new graft that's closer to the, the branch, which is a better uh, position anyway. And then we have this whole tree. It's an older seedling tree. And that project I started, uh, let's see, I think not quite a year ago, but all of this new growth is Ugly Betty. So, you know, Sometimes they even mark it with the appropriate sign. Um, so anyway, I hope that we get some ugly bitty fruit from that part this next year. We'll just have to wait and see. Grafted onto a few things up, up top there, but uh, definitely need to come back and do some more. And we're right next to our, our um, Valencia Pride going over to ice cream mango tree. So take a quick look at that. The uh, graft is still green, that's a good thing. Here's one that we put on actually more recently in the last video. And uh, that one is just gorgeous. This one's not looking so good. That's an old um, graft and brittle, so we put on another graft down here. And let's see if we can... Uh, right, right here, you can see the, the little uh, bud forming. So, anyway, lots of good stuff. Another sign of growth up there. This is a Kent tree right here that. I cut back so that we can put another variety onto it. And this is Seacrest. It's a project that, I think this project has been going on for about a year, and uh, maybe a little bit less actually. And this tree is just covered with new grafts. And, uh, the only recent ones are over on this side of the tree, and uh, here we have this one that is has taken. Just need to wait for the new growth, um, the new leaves to to harden off, form and harden off. This one is, of course, all the way back to cut back, and we have a, a little cluster of of um, grafts here. There were some new shoots. I took advantage of the youth and uh, 
This one took faster. This one was put on at the same time as this one right here. And this one is still alive. It's just not taking as fast. Uh, and uh, then this one over here was actually put on later than those first two. And you can see we've got some some leaves forming there. So um, basically this whole uh, area is doing well. Here's a situation where this the first graft didn't take and we have um, well I've put another graft on down below here and that one's nice and green uh, so perhaps the reason this one didn't take is that um, I didn't use the elastics on it uh, on this tree I most of the grafts did not have elastics on it but I used it here because of going into tougher wood and um, it seems to have worked so here's a little project tree. All of the, each branch on the on the right side here are grafts from seedling trees of new varieties of mangoes just recently released. So we're hoping for some interesting fruit from that side. And uh, this side I've put on uh, some known varieties. This is CAC on these two. And uh, so hopefully we'll get some cac mangoes soon. This trunk here, so it's a, oh, I don't know, maybe a, an eight-year-old tree, I'm guessing. Um, but anyway, it's got some momentum to it, and we've cut back the trees around it for some more sunlight. So hopefully we'll get some uh, fruit soon on this particular tree. This is an interesting thing I wanted to point out. You see these two trees, which happen to be uh, Alfonso on your left and Kit on your right, the two larger trees. And you see the, the difference in color of the new leaves. So sometimes people look at the new leaves when they're reddish or brownish tinged and think that there's something wrong with the tree. And it's simply the variety. Uh, there's some that the new growth is, is green or whitish green, and some that is more like reddish uh, or brownish red. So um, don't worry about it. Both are signs of healthy leaves. And there's just a whole lot of new growth in the grove now, so I'm glad we got a lot of the trimming done before the new growth. But right now we're also um, doing some follow-up trimming. It's um, pretty minor stuff compared to what we did before. We used the chainsaw in the first batch where we had the, the huge piles of trimmings. Uh, and uh, those big cuts take longer to recover. So then we come back with uh, uh, loppers or um, hand saws and clippers and such to get uh, some of the um, outside branches, the smaller outside branches cut back a little bit. So um, we have in some places quite a few little branches, other places not so many. But um, yeah, that's what this is all about. It's uh, it's good to to get both kinds of trimming in. So this is the first major large tree project that I've undertaken. Uh, this is the Hayden, which was um, seriously trimmed back in June of 2016, so about one year ago. We had a big storm and one of the branches uh, was blown into the power lines. So people came out in the middle of the night to cut it away and then I got a tree service to cut back the rest of the tree so that we could work with it and uh, so that it would be all the fruit would be more reachable too. It had a nice structure to it and uh, wanted to preserve that structure. So this is about one year ago um, that I started grafting because of course we had to wait for the shoots to form and the idea to finally set in with me that grafting it over to new varieties would be a lovely thing to do. I knew I wanted to do it on the side that the uh, power lines are on but as far as the rest of the tree I was 
not really up for that much work, but anyway, uh, it turned out to be a fun project. It was a long project, but uh, we have all Julie on this lower branch here, and uh, we have some Angie there, and this this uh, long branch here is Honey Kiss. We have some cotton candy over here. And what do we have here? I think we have uh, Orange Essence. This particular shoot, I just thought we needed a little shade for the bark and the interior of the tree, so I, I grafted onto this little, little branch here. And uh, so this particular growth is Juliet. Then I put some pettigrew up here, because uh, that should stay small. It did get quite bushy in the time that, since I grafted and all this stuff. Once it started to take, grew like crazy. On this side here, I put Jahangir, which is also a dwarf variety. So, got a lot of varieties on this tree. It'll be a little brain teaser for me each year, what is on where. And so anyway, that inspired me to work on this tree, which uh, we weren't dealing with as ideal of branching. Uh, you know, we only have one serious branch low down, and then it, the trunk gets huge after that. Uh, so we keep cutting up off the most vertical uh, growth and uh, waiting on a, a pole saw to, to uh, come in to get one of these high branches. We could get it with a chainsaw, but there's a branch below it that's already been grafted, so we want to take it down in pieces. And so, get a nice pole saw here, and that would be a nice project. Uh, this lower branch here, put a little bit of Julie on. Uh, this one hasn't gotten too much on it. I'm still deciding whether to go with Carla, which is on this side of the branch, or what to do with this other one. Don't want to get too many varieties on it like the first one I showed you because, you know, that gets too challenging. If the, especially if the fruit don't look that much different from each other. Uh, this whole branch here is all Phoenix. And this one here is Angie. So Angie's finally taking hold, uh, so I don't know if it's going to grow enough for having fruit next year on this particular branch, probably not, but in two years we should have a, a nice crop of Angie uh, from this. It's like having multiple trees, if it gets enough resources, you know, we have, have one here and have another one here another here, and uh, yeah, a few more around in the, the top here. So anyway, that should be interesting. We'll visit it from time to time. So here are some trees that have, we seriously cut back. They're way too big for this area. Used to be just a wind screen for some potted plants we had over here, and they just got going crazy. So. The idea on this in this area is to graft on to new growth and we're still waiting for the new growth to happen. The shoot's coming out of here, it'd be lovely. And uh, as soon as that happens, I'll, I'll graft on to them. And uh, then later on we can cut these other branches off. Same thing here, we've got, really need to cut this back a uh, little bit more. I think we'll do that uh, this next week. I'm much happier grafting at this level or even down here. This one uh, obviously didn't heal over very well. I mean it's like 
all wet inside from the rain and it's uh, you know decayed to wood so I think what we'll do with this one as long as we have the chainsaw out here is graph I mean it's cut down here and this other branch is pretty wimpy I mean it's got green leaves on the bottom of the toward the ground but this one should be cut back too the rest of the you know the leaves that are on the rest of the tree should keep the tree very active so we don't have to worry about that but yeah this this needs a little follow-up trimming got some seedling trees I'll probably do something with those graft onto them while they're there this is nice this, these shoots are ready to to graft onto down here we actually grafted right up here on this this tree years ago you can sort of see a uh, inverted V that that's uh, where the old um, wood was was there and the new new part is here uh, but anyway that's it's going places we don't want it to go right over to the shade house and get squirrels that jump you know it's like a squirrel highway and such and so um, because we have to cut it back anyway I think that we'll probably cut it up cut it right above this graft so um, we could get some advantage from the um, you know, previous year's graft and then graft on some other stuff in these other areas. And this tree, again, needs some follow-up trimming. This, this branch is, is going too close to the shade house, so we'll, we'll, we'll take that one out and a few of these other smaller ones. have some little long guns, just a few of the, the ones that are perfect for snack size right now. Uh, looks like the birds have gotten to a few of the, the other ones, but yeah, the other crop is on the way. But this tree is the main one that is, is fruiting this year out of all of our long guns. So it's uh, too bad that we don't have a crop that's ready at the same time, at one time. pretty much end of the season for the carambola. About three fruit on that tree. This tree is finally 100% grafted over. I was waiting on this last one. I take off the new leaves because they just take energy away from the shoot. So off it goes. This one's nice and green, so I'm pretty sure that's going to take. So, ANG. And, uh, yeah, I gotta come back and get this for graft wood before it sprouts out too much. And this is Ugly Betty. And this is a custard apple that uh, used to be very barren, looking like it wasn't going to survive very well. And so it's definitely surviving. This is fun. The little flowers coming out here. I think I'd open up later in the day. There's a seedling tree that I have to remember to put something on, something else on. We'll just uh, try to graft something known onto the tree so that we have a sure crop and then see if this tree actually produces something that's interesting and so sort of have a, a chance at a new variety but not risking everything on it. And uh, here's a little glimpse at the 
the hedge that we were working on pruning. So anyway, this time of year, if you haven't noticed, the uh, theme is pruning and grafting. You know, grafting is something that is uh, a great thing for the spring and the summer, uh, but the reality is, for me, I don't have much time in the spring and the summer to graft, uh, you know, the mango season part of the summer. So right now, that uh, the mangoes are over a little early for the year, and the grafting projects have begun. Or actually, they've been in progress whenever I had a, a little moment here and there. I was working on those. Um, so, yeah, here's some more grafts. This one is, is looking good. It's got a new sprout over here. And, uh, got some, uh, graft that didn't look like it was taking here. Though, it, yeah, that one is a little little mushy, so I put another graft on down here. It's a situation that we had a, a seedling tree here, so put a graft on. It's like, when in doubt, put a graft on it. So, anyway, that's it for this morning as far as a quick glance at the projects and things that interest me around the grove. So I hope you have a great day and we'll see you back tomorrow.